Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. So, this is a fun thing we have at Rocky Mountain Westie. We call it the Oasis. And the Oasis is, is available for our customers to use as a, we call it a pit stop, maybe. And, you know, we, we can code our customers into the door. We have a little, you know, we have a shower room back there so they can, they can use our shower. And there's bathroom facilities here and, you know, microwave, coffee pot, these kinds of things. So, we use this a little bit for employees as well as we invite our customers in here as well. Um, so if that's something that you're passing through and you're traveling and you have a need for, please reach out to our team and we can get, a, get you set up with a code to use the facility. Our vans are more exciting than our offices for sure, but we do have comfortable offices for our finance team. They're a really well suited team for our company. Um, they help us, you know, just to keep everything organized, keep parts in stock making profit and fulfilling our customers' needs all at the same time. These are two parts of our business. You know, we talk about Propex a little bit. Um, Propex are the furnaces we're the U.S. distributor for. Um, they're propane furnaces for your vehicles. This is our wiring harness station. And basically what we do here is we, is we design and manufacture, you know, different battery harnesses and headlight harnesses. And we do, um, in our Subaru conversion platform, it requires that we modify the Subaru wiring harness so that it can fit in a Volkswagen van. So that's what this table is here. This is set up for a Subaru wiring harness so that we can get the spacing correct and we can lay it out. It fits in the van nicely. That's, that's the whole idea behind the Subaru conversion is that when it's done, it's clean and nice and a professional mechanic can work on it and service it. There's a lot of conversions that get done that when you open the hood, it, it can give you a little bit of scare to it or, you know, a little wide eyes. Um, whereas ours are, you know, designed to be serviced and repaired over time. One of our popular accessories is our rear tire swings. And these are actually the tire swing mounts that go on the back of the van that hold the swing itself. So we make them in runs of 25 and this is the one component. Next step after this is it'll go to powder coating and then packaging. And I'm excited to show you a, a bumper. Um, one of our popular products is our Twin Peaks bumper line. This is a center section of our Twin Peaks bumper line. You know, one of the things that we think about when we design product with Van Cafe is how, how are we going to ship it to the customer? So our Twin Peaks bumper is actually a multi-piece bumper. This is what we call the center section, and this is really the, the, the meat of it. This is the safety portion of the bumper, but there's a lot of metal in this. This particular component is like 47 pounds, and part of that is the ability to have a hitch in there, so you can either use, you know, a tow trailer to the capacity of your van, or you can put a bike rack, or those kinds of things. We make these in-house, and we weld these in-house. Theo loves welding, so, you know, that's all MIG welded here in-house. Brad's gonna show us really quick on our press break of how the center section gets bent and how do we how do we bend this for consistency every single time? How do we make them exactly the same every single time? So this is gonna go like that, right? And that's right where the right where the receiver is gonna go. And then you can also see, you know, those those cutouts. So that's basically that component right there. So now we have to bend and form it into place. So this is a Twin Peaks bumper center section getting bent up so then we have that final bend and you can see that backstop come forward so that is that's how your the center sections form and that's 3 16 metal so there's it's pretty heavy and that's exactly the same exact component as what's already here powder coated um, so next this would go to assembly and this gets assembled inside a jig and then it, once it's in the jig, it gets welded up. He knows exactly how to do it. It's impressive to watch him. It's Friday afternoon, so that guy's already enjoying his camping weekend. But when that guy comes in here and, and welds, he does you know, as good a job as Brad does bending this, and as good a job as Ryan does bending those tubes. And it's really just uh, it's impressive to watch these guys work. So um, thanks to Brad. Appreciate your time. So we talk a lot about um, innovation and design and the different things we make. These are more exhausts that we manufacture. This is what a Subaru motor and a Volkswagen van. So these are the exhaust systems that we manufacture here in-house. One of our flagship products is coolant pipes and Volkswagen made these out of plastic from the factory. With our tube bender, we actually have the ability to make these in-house. So we manufacture all of these in-house, multi-bends. These are replicas of the original. And so Rath Gibson is, is the brand. And that's made in the USA. So Rath Gibson is made in the USA. And um, 
in Wisconsin. They have a mill there. And we buy all this material in 20 foot lengths and we make it all into coolant pipes. So we understand that you have choices when buying these products. And if you want to buy them from Van Cafe, it supports our team and it supports a US business. And we're excited to offer these products. So we talked a little bit about what sets Van Cafe apart and how we do business in our manufacturing. And one of our nicest pieces of equipment, in my opinion, is our ability to bend stainless steel tubing. So this is an exhaust system that we manufacture here. And we, can, we make all these bends. That's this bend right here. So this is called a mandrel tubing bender. This supports the inside of the tubing. So when you support the inside of the tubing and you bend a bend like this, in order to get that tight of a bend, you have to have a mandrel tubing bender. So this will actually go inside the tube and as the tube bends, that component flexes inside the radius of that bend and it supports the tube. And that's what enables you to make um, very tight bends on uh, stainless steel thin wall tubing. And the other thing that we use this, we make exhaust with this, but we also make our coolant pipes. So many of the Vanagon people know that Volkswagen made them from plastic to front to rear. And we know you have your choices and who to buy these uh, coolant pipes from, but we're the only ones in our industry, in our market, that manufactures our coolant pipes here in the United States. And the material that we use, all this material is Rath Gibson material and it's, it's milled in Wisconsin. So that is truly a made in the USA product by, um, by folks right here in our facility. Into, that's gonna sit inside the radius of your tube. And then as it bends, it continues to make that nice, even wall, even thickness of wall on the material, and then it goes all the way around to 180 degrees. And then it pulls that it pulls that mandrel back out, and it's pulling those spheres out of there. And then it releases the clamping guy. And then you can pull your component out of there. One of the cool parts about this machine is it actually, so this, this right here, this digital readout will give you the distance between the bends and the rotation off plane of the bend. So I grab this component because this component you can see is not flat. So this machine, this digital readout will tell you the difference in rotation between this plane and that plane. And it's so you can make the same exact part over and over and over again. And this, and this rotation gives you the ability to do that. So um, you can do, as you can see, we can make very, a lot of complex bends and um, it's that machine that enables us to do it. Right. Little knocky knock. Those 180 bends definitely get pretty tight in there, but yeah, so 180 degrees exactly. And you can make the same thing over and over and over again. The next process after this stuff obviously gets bent and trimmed and fit, um, we take it over into the TIG welding station and Ryan actually, not only does he bend the tube, but he actually welds it all up. So he'll take it over here and let's, let's see what he has a work in progress. So those are the completed ones that are done. And you know, we manufacture all these in jigs. So all of this, all of this stuff sits inside of a jig. So everything locates in the same place so we can make it over and over and over again. And this is our TIG welding station where we weld all these components together. These are some different jig varieties that get used um, to manufacture this kind of stuff. We've made this particular exhaust system 250 times um, over the past six or eight years. This was actually the, a product that we um, collaborated with on a, on a gentleman in the industry, and it's been a successful project. This is one of our flagship vans. This, this van is pretty nice. It's one of 1,500 Synchro Westies that they manufactured. This van is outfitted with our Twin Peaks front bumper. This is our full brush guard. I run this same full brush guard on all my vans. If you were to hit a deer or um, you can add lights to it and I just think it's a nice accessory for the front of the van. In the van world we call it, is it worth the wait, right? Because it's a little bit about adding weight to your van and, and this component I, I definitely feel is worth the wait for sure. Um, it gives you a lot more comfort when you're driving down the road. This tire swing is, is set up for a storage shelf. So you can, you know, bring your firewood or bring your cooler or bring whatever you decide is, is appropriate to store on that. Um, 
and that's kind of a storage shelf and when you're not using it, it's really easy to operate, right? It just swings open and gets out of your way. This van actually has a cool feature. And this is called the switchback rack. This, this van sees miles, so it's definitely a little dirtier. This is cool because our switchback rack was designed to use accessories that were on a rooftop, but I don't want to have to lift my bike up on top of the van, right? So I can put my bike right on the back of the van and you can just push your whole bike out of the way. A lot of vans have racks that either mount to the hatch itself or they mount in the receiver hitch. And both of those make it more challenging to get access to the back of your van. So this way your bike is on a swing away and you can instantly get it out of your way. So that's a really nice feature that you can add on to your rear carriers. And then you hit the latch on the top and it driving down the road, it's really nice and stable. This is another product we've been working on. So this is actually a max air fan. A lot of RVs put this on the roof, um, but as we all know, the roof of the Volkswagen van goes up and down. Um, and sometimes it's tricky for wiring and such. This fan actually blows right on the rear seat. So the rear cabinet, the rear storage cabinet's there, and then there's a fan in there and it blows right on the rear seat and it gives you good ventilation in your van. It gives you good cross ventilation and it just really makes the air in your van nice. So, so what we're doing is we're manufacturing a flange that you can replace your window and you use this flange to space the, the max air fan so that it creates the clearance and the spacing, the flange that we'll manufacture so you can use that component. This van also has a the Rocky Mountain Westy ladder, you know, and, and some people have asked about, you know, the protrusion of this off the side of the van. Really what we use as a gauge is your mirror, right? So is all, is all of that stuff inside the mirror? The answer is yes. The mirror sticks out further than any of those accessories. If you're going to hit those, you're going to hit your mirror first. They're actually great, great uh, products that really make your van more comfortable to, to camp in and use.